Scorpio, this is your general reading for the month of September. I hope you're doing well. We are going to do a nine-part spread for the month of September. I've never done a nine-part spread on YouTube uh, for the signs. And so we're going to attempt a nine-part spread. And, um, oops, we have one that's open. Okay. So uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Shamla Tan and I'm a spiritual teacher and an intuitive therapist. I do use the cards sometimes to assist my clients in therapy work. And of course, I offer tarot reading as well. So we're going to uh, spread out the nine cards. We are going to have clarifiers as well as uh, pick an oracle card uh, for a message from spirit at the end of this entire reading. Now, let's see. Now, Scorpio, if you're not aware, I have an educational channel called Musings from the Past, Present and Future. On that channel, I combine spiritual psychological work. And if you're interested to grow spiritually or even in your own religion, uh, we need a clear psychology in order to grow, right? Or else we, you know, faith alone doesn't doesn't do anything we need to grow psychologically so that we can uh, interpret the spiritual text in the right way okay so and then we have here also the uh, clarifying deck and we have here the oracle cards so if you are interested in my channel you can check it out it is uh, the link is below this video now let's look at the first card the first card is uh, energy of your current self or Scorpio. And we have 10 of cups, right? The chalices, um, he, you know, it means cups. In this deck, it's called uh, chalices. So 10 of cups here for you. Um, it's a nice energy. You're feeling quite comfortable, uh, emotionally quite stable. You feeling, it's picking up. You're feeling the sense of fulfillment, and uh, wow, we have two cards that's fallen out. One is um, you have dealt with some of the uh, past energies. You're getting away with some, um, you know, moving away from some toxicity, some dishonesty even. Um, okay, I need to pause here a little bit. My cat is interfering with my reading and I'm back. So the Seven of Swords is dealing with uh, some form of, uh, you know, betrayal, deception, that kind of thing, uh, this honesty, right? And uh, I feel like this has passed and you are now embracing the energies of the new, coming into new creation, a much more caring, much more uh, much more caring and nurturing kind of energy. It's a nice phase to go into. Now let's look at the second card and this is the theme of the month for you. Mm, judgment. The theme for you in September is judgment. Judgment, um, you know, the energy is about awakening to your inner calling, I feel. Um, it's also a, point, a time where you are evaluating the choices that you are making in your life and, you know, yeah, really awakening to something deeper. Let's see what is it exactly that you're awakening to, Scorpio. Let's get some clarifiers. And we have here... Ten of Swords. Mm, you're ending some things in your life, things that no longer serve you. Uh, I feel you keep having the energy of betrayal coming up. You have Seven of Swords, which, which signifies some form of betrayal. Ten of Swords also signifies some form of a betrayal. So there are some deep wounds in which you need to look at in order for this inner calling to surface. All right, and the Six of Cups here uh, talks about childhood. Six of Cups signifies uh, the past. It signifies memories of childhood. It signifies uh, family, kind of. Uh, so perhaps it's pointing in a direction in which you need to go back to um, healing of, you know, childhood pains and all of that. I feel like this is not the first time you're getting this message for some reason. Maybe some of you really need to listen to this because you have not, <laughs> you have not done the work that you're supposed to be doing. And so, yeah, Six of Cups is about return to childhood. And so in order to answer the inner calling, this has to be dealt with. This has to be resolved or else you will find that 
it's quite challenging to listen to your inner calling or to move ahead and, and move forward to do what you need to do. Okay, so let's look at a key goal you need to pursue in the month of September and the King of Pentacles. Very nice. King of Pentacles is about energy of reliability and discipline. And this is something in which it is so important for you to pursue. Um, and I feel that you can come into full circle of this, you know, truly show up as the king and to be a reliable source for other people, to be a reliable force for other people, uh, and to exercise that kind of self-discipline. Um, you know, I mean, self-discipline is, is a cultivated kind of habit, right? And it can come about, you know, once we have cleared some of our emotional baggages. Sometimes our emotional baggage don't allow us to stay on track or stay focused or stay disciplined because, I mean, they are, are distractions. They are energetically drawing energy away from us. It tires us out. Um, so physically, we can get very tired out by emotional baggage that we are carrying with us. And that, you know, that makes it so difficult to exercise discipline, right? So let's see. And then you have your hangman. So there is a need for you to have a change in perspective about how you are, um, um, how you're exercising discipline or not exercising discipline. There's a need for you to really relook at how you are, um, structuring your day-to-day, -day, right? Ten of, uh, I mean, King of Pentacles, it's about that. Pentacles is about day-to-day -day living, right? How are we living our lives? How are we getting things in order? And so, you know, there is a hangman moment here, which means that there is a need for you to relook, right? And see how you can make the necessary changes so that the energies work for you rather than against you. And we have here Knight of Swords. So Knight of Swords is um it's an energy. Look at this fast moving, right? You can see this knight on a horse with the sword pointing forward. Um, this energy is really about the, the need for you to move fast into the direction of the King of Pentacles. Um, I feel like the month of September is possibly supporting you a lot in making progress. And so make full use of the energy. The Knight of Swords seems to be indicating that, that, you know, it's full steam ahead, you know, move ahead, uh, no more procrastination. Um, do not allow the, um, you know, energies of the past or energies or emotional baggage to, to stop you, okay? Now let's see, card number four represents the obstacles and we have 10 of pentacles. Did we have 10 of pentacles here? No, that was 10 of swords. Okay, so um, obstacles to overcome and we have 10 of pentacles. Um, I feel like this is not so much an obstacle, but more like something you want to go forward, but then there are obstacles blocking you. So 10 of pentacles represents stability, represents family life. Uh, it represents... Yeah, family matters, you know, financial security, pentacles, right? Again, it's about earthly life. It could be about your job as well. Um, this is something that you want, you want to move towards, right? And, but there are blocks. There are obstacles. Let's see, can we have more information on what are the obstacles blocking you from that kind of... Maybe some of you are also hoping to have children. If you see here in the picture, there is a child, right? So if you're hoping to have a child, but there are obstacles... So what are these obstacles? Can we have more information for Scorpio with regards to obstacles to family matters, obstacles to financial stability? And we have here three of pentacles. All right. So um, there is a the obstacle here. I mean, in general, three of pentacles is about collaboration, pulling energies together. But the obstacle seems to be maybe you're not doing that enough. There's not enough teamwork. There's not enough collaboration. And, and obviously, this has to do with family. Yeah, It's not about, I mean, if you're thinking about family life, uh, financial security, then it your first team right? that you should be working with would be family, followed by your, um, you know, in your work uh, team. So maybe to look further inwards and see, uh, which areas of your life are you not in harmony or not in congruency with 
um, your team, right? Your family team or your work team or social team, whatever teams that you may have. That can be an obstacle because it's not working together. Now, the other thing also to consider is that it could be an internal team, right? For some of you, uh, internal team meaning like yourself, maybe your emotional, mental and physical state is not working as a team. And, and you know, that could sabotage you if if each part of yourself is, has its own agenda, okay? So let's see, more info. And here we have five of one. So there is a need to address conflict, a need to address disagreement. Uh, maybe there's some tension right now in certain parts of your life. I mean, it could be family, it could be work, it could be social, some tension going on, uh, a clash of egos, essentially. So there is a need to address that. When you address that, then, you you know, the Ten of Pentacles becomes much easier um, to accomplish, okay? Now, let's look at this. Uh, card number five represents uh, accomplishments, and we have Four of Wands. Four of Wands is about harmony. That's good. So, if, if you are doing this, right, addressing what is needed, then you come into greater harmony. There is harmony, there is celebration, nice energy, this is something to accomplish in the month of September. Can we have more information? And the moon. Right now, it's still hidden from you. Right now, it's not very clear. It's the unseen. But let's see what does get. And we have Knight of Wands. So basically, because it is still unknown, uh, what what is it exactly that will help you to move into harmony? But I feel, you know, this unknown has to do with shadow energies. Now, if you're aware of what kind of shadow energies are stopping you from growth, from, you know, whatever you need to do, then, you know, go ahead and address the shadow, right? If um, you can check out my other channel that I talked about on shadow work. So do some shadow work. And we have here the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is, is to put on your courageous hat, right? Put on your armor, be courageous, go forward. And you might need to also rebel a little bit. Um, the rebellion would be very good for your soul. Like a part of you is almost aching for that, you know? There is a need to uh, really become much more yourself. And if you hold back, and if you don't allow yourself to move forward, then you find that it's quite challenging to accomplish. Now, let's look at card number six, what to avoid. And we have here the Knight of Wands. Didn't we have the Knight of Wands? You have Knight of Wands. How interesting that this is the energy that you need. And at the same time, what is the energy to avoid? You also have Knight of Wands. Let's get some clarifiers. Why is the Knight of Knight of why did I say nine of wands? It's knight of wands. Why? Oops, that card flew out. Let me get it. Ah, okay. So the knight of wands is here basically because there's a part of you that's feeling um, apathetic, maybe feeling, I don't know, the feeling of like, almost like can't be bothered or or melancholy, right? That kind of feeling, feeling very indifferent. So that's the energy to avoid. Because if this is a block and it is stopping you from taking action, then the Knight of Wands can't can surface. The Knight of Wands needs to come up. Okay, let's see. One more, one more clarifier. So apathy, uh, feelings of like just feeling very melancholy, no energy, indifferent, can't be bothered, you know, that kind of energy can prevent the night. And then, yeah, be, okay. Now the reason, this is the two of pentacles. Now the reason why you may be feeling this way, like feeling indifferent, no energy, melancholy, is because you have come to a crossroad. And you do have to make a decision, but you're procrastinating. You're procrastinating in this decision. And that's why the energy has set in. And when the energy sets in, you can't attain the Knight of Wands. Well, the Knight of Wands is also encouraging you, you know, to be 
much more courageous, right? To to really stand out there and not be stuck in this energy of indecisiveness. The more indecisive you are, the the more tired you become, I I suppose, because you know that takes up a lot of mind space. That takes a lot of emotional space as well. Okay, so let's do account number seven. What to embrace? And we have the three of wands. You are encouraged to embrace the energies. Uh, of exploration be more adventurous the three of wands is about being adventurous three of wands is also about developing foresight and in order to have foresight you need to be adventurous um let's see can we have more info for scorpio and we have here queen of wands yeah self-confidence there's a need for you to have much more self-confidence and to develop the kind of passion to pursue what you want to pursue and not hold yourself back, not to feel apathetic, not to feel like, oh, I can't be bothered anymore or it's too scary or whatever it may be that is, um, you know, the mind chatters that may prevent you from moving forward. So Queen of Wands, um, it's coming up to encourage you, well, lean into that energy, right? Make full use of the Queen of Wands energy to develop the self-confidence, Um yeah, and there's a need for you to move fast. This is not the first time for fast movement. Didn't we say that you need to move fast in the earlier card? Yeah, this one, right? In the Nine of Swords, it's asking you to move faster. How interesting. You need to speed up for some reason. Because I think your inner calling is really calling out to you, but you're not listening or you're not moving fast enough because you're afraid. Um, so there's a need for you to take immediate action. Okay. So Scorpio, keep in mind, immediate action. Now, where to find support? And we have here King of Swords, right? So what does the King of Swords energy represent? Calm, uh, it represents integrity and morality. So look for someone who is uh, high in the... Um, you know, integrity and morality, ante. Like, you know, they are really, I mean, when you look at this person, you know, okay, this person is really, has very high moral standards, uh, is full of integrity. I can, you know, I should go to this person. So this could be someone like in your workspace, your boss, you know, if you feel like this person has got a high integrity, then go for support. Um, the other one could be, um, mentors or coaches or therapists, you know, someone that you that you can lean in and support you as you go through the challenges, right? Um, usually, King of Swords kind of energy would be someone that you may look up to, right? And you know that this person is has integrity, so that's where the support may be. So it could be male or female; it doesn't matter because uh, it's just. King just represents the masculine kind of strength, right? So it doesn't matter. Now, this could also be your own, your own higher self, right? If you feel like you you have that. So, for example, if you know that you are a person of high morality and you have a lot of integrity in what you do, uh, maybe of late you have not been le leaning into this energy, and maybe you should, and you know, get the support. King of Pentacles, another king energy, right? So the king energy here is about reliability. Um, earlier on, we had the king of Pentacles here, all right? A repetition of the energy again. So king of Pentacles, really, it's about uh, being stable, right? And being reliable, discipline, all of that coming again is, you know, I, I feel like the, the cards are repeating the messages because maybe you need to hear it. You need to instill more self-respect, self-discipline, self-confidence. Um, yeah, all right. Have have self-leadership, right? Have more of that, okay? That's the support that you need. So last card, advice and encouragement for you. We have Queen of Wands again. <laughs> you have a lot of King and Queen, Scorpio. Look at this. Queen of Wands was here. So you, again, the message is, Build your self-confidence. It's the same message. Be the queen of confidence. Uh, build your inner passion. Uh, be much more, develop some, some charisma. And maybe what would help is to network more, 
become more of a social butterfly. I mean, that's how we build self-confidence, right? When we network and, um, you know, meet new people. Knight of Cups, follow your heart, okay? That's the energy of following your heart, important. Uh, not emotional heart, yeah? Just to clarify, this heart is your higher heart, is your intuitive heart. Now, one more. And we have here the star. Okay, very nice. The star energy is, you know, when the stars are aligned, you become very inspired, but you need to cultivate. Now, in order for, this, for the, uh, the energies of the star to come in for you, the self-confidence has to be present. So work through it, okay, Scorpio? Now, let's see. We are going to pick a message from Spirit. Scorpio, I appreciate a like, a comment, or to subscribe to my channel as a way of energy exchange, you know, with this reading that I have given to you. If it resonates, if you feel like it's helping you, um, please give me this energy exchange uh, for a like or comment or subscribe because it helps my channel to grow that way. And when I can grow my channel, it makes it sustainable for me to continue to do the readings. Okay, so let's see what is the message from Spirit for you. How appropriate. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. <laughs> okay, Scorpio, I wish you a wonderful, wonderful month of September. And I will see you again soon. Your next reading that I'll be doing will be career and money. Bye for now.